Uh, we are live here. Uh, believe it or not, we're doing another show this week. Yep. Uh, about old school Raw. Uh, kind of was... Got to see lot, lots of legends I haven't seen in a while. Yep. Got to listen to Michael Cole run his mouse. Oh, again. Again. Until the return of JR. JR. JR actually wrestled. It's good to hear his voice again. Yeah, he didn't wrestle, but he didn't commentated. Wrestle. He commentated better than Michael Cole could dream about commentating. Yep. Uh, and the kind of match he commented, commented on was a pretty damn good match. You yep. Know, Daniel Bryan and Classic JR. And uh, Jack Swagger, the All American American World Former World Heavyweight Champion. Yep. We, you know, pretty good, uh, pretty good match. You know, went back and forth. Counters at the beginning. Jack Swagger botched a move at the beginning. Then they went back to it and did it right the second time. So, you know, give or take it wasn't a bad roll. Uh, Kozlov and Santino Morello are the a new, new number, number one, one contenders for the tag titles. For the WWE Tag Team Champions. They went up against the Usos. They're playing off the Hart Dynasty, trying to split them up once more. Yep. Tyson Kidd turned on David Hart Smith this time. Yeah, kicked him in the face and they won the match. Yeah. Oh, After he uh, basically waited for the tag, waited for the tag. Yep. Turned around kicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they started off uh, they started off raw with uh, I missed the first eight minutes. I'll let Sigma tell you about that. Uh, the segment with me and Gene Oakland coming out and introducing the first Hall of Famer that came back for the night, which was Bob Orton Jr. And he talked about how Randy Orton was going to win the match, and then he got interrupted by Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett talks about, you can't do nothing, blah, blah, blah. And out comes The Miz, blah, 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 and more rambling on and rambling on. And Alex Riley supporting the old Raw is War t-shirt. Yep. The Miz is supporting his t-shirt. Hello, I am awesome t-shirt, which is as corny as can be. <laughs> and then Cena comes in at the very end and says, hey, Miz, right. why don't we have a match? And Thank you. That's why I came in and I missed it. Which it was a bunch of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because I came in and was like Wade Barrett was saying, saying something and that was it. Yeah, I even missed that. Uh, let's see. Randy Orton and John Cena squabbled that night tonight. Yeah, the GM made a special announcement. They were going to be <laughs> all hyper Yep. Yeah. <sighs> and uh -huh. next segment. Oh, well, I'm just going over the matches I know. Uh, Diva's match was May Young came out, lay boring, interrupted, <laughs> and the yeah, entire lay, not so cool. <laughs> and then the entire Raw roster of Divas came out and took out Lay Cool. May Young got the slap, <laughs> laid in the face. <laughs> they even showed the slow motion. Boom. <laughs> and it was corny as hell, but hey. Um, let's see. Uh, there was uh, there wasn't very many other matches. I've named most of them. Wade Barrett beat uh, uh, no, yeah. Wade Barrett beat um, David Otunga beat our truth. No, no, Kofi Kingston. Wade Barrett beat our truth tonight. Which he beat our truth. Okay. They don't give much push for African American athletes in the WWE. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, was, was it, uh, Kofi Kingston wrestled David Otunga. Yeah, that's what it and, was. And uh, Kofi Kingston won. Yep. Thanks to an extraction by another WWE superstar uh, legend, Greg the Hammer, the, the Hammer Steel. He no, George him. Animal Steel. George Animal Steel. Yeah. He comes in and distracts everybody. David Otunga like, just like sitting there, like, mm -hmm. so who is he? I ain't never seen him before. And then Kofi and comes in. George was a, a climb, climb in the ring. He didn't mess with the, the wrestlers at all. He acts like he's gonna chew up the turnbuckle, like like the uh, turnbuckle pad. And the wrestler, no, 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 no. They pointed at the other way. They're supposed to do that one. And the cl classic George Animal still as he's doing that. Uh, Kofi th throws David Otunga into the same corner that there's no turnbuckle pad. Corner. <laughs> Kofi sets up. Trouble in paradise. Yeah, trouble in paradise. Finish. Over. <sighs> uh, boring. The match was like, I was not even watching it. That's how boring it was. Um, 
Yeah, they might um, from going to, to, to the site, uh, we, whatever we whatever we forgot about or missed. Uh, TNA impact. The so segment like, between, oh, Gold Dust finally interacts with Cody backstage. Rhodes. That was interesting. Had the whole some, family was back there. The whole segment. family, Cody, Dusty, and Goldie. Ted. And Oksana. <laughs> Ted DiBiase, Ted DiBiase. Senior and Junior had a little confrontation. T Tatanka was back there. Yeah, Tatanka came in. Uh, you know, there was a couple other ones. He gave the belt back to to Ted DiBiase. He said it's more trouble than it's worth. And then Ted Junior spits, basically spits in the face and says, I don't need a hand-me-down belt. <laughs> yeah. I'll go up with yeah. real gold. Uh, and it was, he, he got his belt back. Gold has got, got the belt back. And... Handed it back over to him. Ted Jr. This is not senior. right. That's the end of and then his dad handed it back to him. Ted Jr. said, no, I don't want it. Yeah, I don't need anything heavy now. Uh, the Brooklyn Brawler wrestled Ezekiel Jackson. Uh, two himself. superstars, spoilers, matches Yoshi Tatsu defeated Primo. And Gail Kim and Melina defeated Alicia Fox and Maurice. No, the faces beat him in heels. What else is new? At least the faces are getting something. You know, okay. Just, okay. Just, the first match was Dolph Ziggler uh, versus Mark Henry. Uh, as sexual chocolate. Yeah, well, that was uh, the old school on that one. He kept blowing kisses to Vicky Guerrero. Dude. And this was this was not a very good match. Ziggler nailed the zigzag, but Henry kicks out. Ziggler gets the win with the, the sleeper hold. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Floor. I was literally the yawning the entire match because that's how boring it was. And the second segment was. Hart Dynasty was backstage. Yeah, that's the whole... And then Tony, Tony Atlas uh, comes in. He just speaks and they walk off. He speaks for a while. For quite a while. They come back from commercial and he's still speaking. And Yoshi Tatsu stabs himself. <laughs> it's like... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> fade away. And they fade away and that's when the Hart Dynasty kind of splits itself. Yep. Uh, next up is your Hart, Hart Dynasty versus Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater. We already went through that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Heart, uh, goes for the tag, ties the kick, kick, kicks him in the, in the face, allowing Slater for the pinfall. Blah, blah, blah. Backstage seven, Mean Gene interviews Randy Orton. Ron Killings walks in, which is our truth, and stirs up uh, heat, heat between Orton and Cena once again. Orton says Cena can't screw him over Sunday if he put punt kicks him in his head tonight. And that fuels the fire for John Cena later on that night. Howard Finkel is then introduced. Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, introduces the Brooklyn Brawler and Harvey Wimpleman. Brawler says he demands his respect and he wants a match tonight with anybody from the back. And who was it? Ezekiel Jackson. Yeah, Ezekiel Jackson. Squash match. Mm -hmm. uh, next is backstage. You know, Tonga says our truth is becoming a problem. Yada yada yada. Walks in eight ways. He, he says a leader. He says yeah. the DD leader. Jim Chime that says tonight will be truth. We'll take on Wade Barrett and a tunnel. We'll be in a special match later on tonight. Next was your uh, John Cena versus Alex Riley instead of facing the Miz. Because the Miz says that the GM never sanctioned the match, so he puts in Alex Riley. And yeah. Alex Riley looked pretty good. It Cena wins with the STF. And you know, he, he wins with the STF, but he puts Alex Riley's face in front of the Miz and it has him tapped out. Yep. And, uh, yep. Randy Orton is out after the match to attack Miz instead of, as he was staring at Cena. He looks around and, and, and gives it to him. Okay. Iron Trick and Nikolai Volkov are in the ring. Volkov starts to sing the Russian National Anthem and Santino interrupts. And actually Santino and Kozlov come out. Santino says Kozlov would, would like to sing with him. And they sing very badly. Actually, Kozlov seems to be the other guy wasn't that Yeah, Nikolai, uh, Nikolai, yeah, he was actually singing like his uh, classic voice does, and which is was actually slower. And then Kozlov. Kozlov was singing; he was singing real fast, and then he got he was trying to slow himself down. That's where it was really where it went. screwed up. Santino's in the in the, in the back. <sighs> Can you listen to this? <laughs> so he brings in a slick. Yeah, the Slickster. He comes out, they talk, and blah, blah, blah. That was kind of and boy, has he gained weight since his slim days. He used to be real skinny. Now he's about almost my size. 
Uh, Number one contenders back for the tag team title was the Usos with Jimmy Snuka and Santina uh, and let's say uh, versus Santino Morella and Vladimir Kozlov. Well, Santino Kozlov win. Sheamus is out after the match and attacks Kozlov and the Usos. Oh, there's gonna be a match in Survivor Series: Sheamus versus John Morrison. Yep, he goes for Santino, but Morrison makes a save. That that part where you said wasn't in there, but I just mentioned that. Next uh, match was David Otunga versus Kofi Kingston with George Animal still out during the match. He got, got into the ring and eats the turnbuckles. Nice. Otunga distracted, gets nailed with Trouble Paradise. He been followed by Kofi. Arn Anderson and Gerald Briscoe are backstage talking to John Morrison. Sheamus runs in, kicks him in the face, kicks him in the face and accepts Morrison's challenge for, for a match on Sunday. Backstage, Oksana is walking with a million dollar man. And the I mean, fight. actually, uh, with a million dollar title. Hacksaw uh, walks by. Oksana sees a fat person with a blonde, a long rug. hair, which was actually Dusty Rhodes. And, rug, and he bro. thinks that, that's, that is her mom. Yeah, and that's all a joke. Kelly Kelly drops a net from above, and Gold Dust gets a million dollar title back. Gives it to a million dollar man who was with IRS. Actually, they dance for a minute. Yeah. They dance for a minute, and Ron Simmons comes out and says, "Yeah, everybody might dance." It's classic. Like, Damn. Damn. And everybody <laughs> shuts up, and he just walks off. Yeah. Okay. He walks in and says, uh, "Junior walks in and says, he doesn't want the belt." And then he leaves Coke Cody with a. Gold dust and said They actually had a segment together. Yeah, Cody walks in and says that wasn't dashing. Gold dust asks him for, for grooming tips and he says no. Dusty plays his music and starts dancing with Kelly Kelly and with Tataka and Dougie come in. Ron Simmons then does the damn thing. R Truth versus Wade Barrett. The best match according to this, this article. It was the best best match where, uh, that Wade Barrett has done in long uh, that he could ever recall. Wade got the win with the wasteland. Yeah, because Wade Barrett actually did more than three moves. Tino Santana comes out. Uh, Alberto Del, Del Rio. Versus. Del Rio is driven driven by uh, the Chavo limo Classic. by Chavo Classic. He wrestled Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, that was that was his uh, special challenge. That was uh, a squash match. Yeah, beats down Slaughter after match, and MVP makes the save. Yeah, he's trying to break our, uh, so mean, on. Mean Gene backstage interview with May Young. Yada yada yada. They show pictures of her when she was 17, and now she's 87. Seven Young versus Lake business. Cool, it's already done. First ever diva. Never Match number team. 10, Daniel Ryan versus Jack Swagger. When they got all good old JR out there. Yep. They actually do some really good commentary. And then they, uh, uh, there's where, where it is, a 505 Survivor Series match is announced for Sunday. Smackdown versus Smackdown. Team Mys Mysterio versus Team Del Rio. Howard Finkel brings out the legends for tonight. Piper Spit, this is your main event with yeah. Cena and Orton. Wade Barrett and comes out instead of Orton at first. And Piper, Piper did, talks about never winning the title as Cena is, has no option but to call it down the middle on Sunday. Barrett. And it says uh, they're going back and forth on the mic. And Wade orders Cena to put a Nexus T shirt on. Orton comes out and gets in a brawl with Barrett and take, takes on AA, takes on an attitude adjustment from Cena. And that is going well, to be our report. Well, actually, else to say. well, actually, uh, Randy Orton attempted to do an RKO on Wade. John Cena stepped in. Randy does an RKO on John Cena. John Cena turns around. And then he gets he hits uh, Randy Orton with a he counters the punt kick. Uh, gives Randy Orton an AA, and then turns around and gives Wade Barrett one and walks out. Right. And that ends your show for Monday Night Raw. Thank, Thank you, you and, Thank you and good night.